Hello, hello, hello everyone, welcome back to episode 6 of my Minecraft survival series. Today, we start everything off with nothing. Absolutely nothing, no levels, just nothing left over. I've managed to, the iron farm is now working, got quite a bit of iron in there, but first off we need to go ahead, and I might I need to really fix up one of these, but I need to, the thing is I AFK'd here for about 10 hours, since building this farm, no, since the last episode, and I should say I really need to block up this portal here, like, really need to get that there fixed, because surely I've got a piece of iron in here or something that I can take, all I need is a piece of iron, and surely I've got some flint around here, because it turns out mobs go into portals, and so I was just about to go ahead and do a mi lovely mining session over at the mining area when I walked through the portal and I was like, shoot. I came through the other side of this portal. I'm now, it's now set a different location. And as soon as I came out of the portal, I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> because when I came out, there was probably about six or eight creepers on the other side. A few endermen, a whole lot of skeletons, and a huge amount of zombies that obviously came through. And, yeah. That was not a good... Go away. It was not a good start. I, I pretty much came through and just lost everything straight away because a creeper blew up, then another creeper blew up, and, yeah. It was not a pretty sight, and I was... <laughs> I'm still not happy because I lost my silk pickaxe and I just lost everything. Except, yeah, I really need to try and get some good armour and that sorted. And that will be coming shortly when we get into the lovely end. Which I'm hoping to have, as I said, by my aim by episode 10. But today's episode, as stated yesterday, I need to go kill the enderman really. Is that I need to get myself... The lovely mob farm built up, which is going to be an awesome by Nimbom, which is a design which I've seen that has been recently built, or is perfect for this world. So what I'm going to do is it's going to be built out over here. So what I need to do first is I need to go ahead, and I'm pretty sure we've got some lovely chests here. Got some chests here, and let's quickly go grab some iron. I really need to get, I'm going to also, before I even start building, I'm going to have to go get some resources anyway, because... I need a lot more slabs for doing it. So today's episode may be just a slightly little bit more longer. But it's going to well, I'll be doing lots of jumping around and that there between time as well. It's not all the iron I got from like a 10 hour AFK. Because I had a bit of problems as well. But anyway, that's the plan for today. Is get this lovely mob farm done. And also I'll be getting a whole lot of resources and trying to get myself some more better armour. But most of that will be off camera because it's quite boring. So what I need to do is pretty much make... A whole lot of these. I might just leave eight like that there. And surely I've got like an axe or something. Okay, at least I've got an axe. I don't know where that spider hurt from. If you heard that, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's on something else. But so what we need to do is the farm is going to be starting to get built here. And it's at looking at block 63. So one, two, three. Four, five, and it has to be a five by five area. So one, two. It seems it's a very simple farm. It could have been built on day one of this world, pretty much. All you need is a whole lot of observers and droppers and also repeaters for this farm. I need four more of those. Four, five, six for a little bit of storage, and that is where the base of the farm is going to be, and it's going to be built up quite high in the sky, and I'm going to eventually hopefully have a lovely item elevators going up to it. I've also, between scenes, I've also been starting to gather a whole lot more wood as well, because we need to get some chests and that done. I'm going to eventually have a nice storage system built down, probably underneath this area here, separate for this mob farm, because it's going to have a huge quantity of drops once it's fully set up. So now that there's done, I'm just going to add in just a little bit of storage here. Oops, I'm eventually going to get used to this. 
And this is just going to be some very simple. Also, the waterlog chests also look quite good as well. So that's just so once I get the farm up and running, I've got at least some form of storage below here. Let's place that there, that there, and that there. As Stacey said as well, I would have done it in a nice different view. Like have a have the little replay mod going around. It's quite a bit. I can't do that at the moment. So anyway. I thought of a good way to get myself some XP. Got three levels so far. Surely I've got at least a pickaxe. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Because as I found out that the lovely mod, well, not the mod, the game now stores XP in these lovely furnaces. And since I've been smelting a huge amount of kelp and neither reckon there's surely they're going to give me like a good amount of like xp out of it m m maybe it's just a maybe because i'm not sure if they emit xp or anything at all so what you do is i'll remove those and you go ahead and that was it that was beautiful let's see what this one here does amazing okay so i'm just going to probably keep Oh, no, let's just do these ones here as well. Won't be as much because they're quite new chests. Perfect. Okay, so now that we've done that there, I'm going to go ahead and quickly make up a couple diamond pickaxes so we can get some new stuff made up. And also I'll, make, I'll add, a, add a couple more bookshelves in here as well. See you then. Okay, people, I've now added two more bookshelves and time to get ourselves some lovely new equipment. So get that unbreaking. <laughs> Uh, silk touch straight away. Awesome. And let's just get... That, that, that was all complete waste of levels. But anyway, since I've done that there, and I've got levels, I want to go ahead and I want to fix up my lovely fortune picks as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and chuck that in there. Perfect. Now my fortune pick is going to be always kept in here, because I'm just going to do silk sky hitting a whole lot of these, and I'll come back. Um, well, yeah, this, that's that's what I'm planning to do anyway, so let's just chuck those in there, those mob drops in there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do probably an hour and a bit mining, and I'll be back uh, once I have done that mining session and get a few more slabs and bits and pieces so we can start work on our lovely mob farm. Let's go back into here. I'll see you guys back when I've done that. See you then. Okay people, I'm now back and I managed to get a few more resources when I was at it. Added a few more diamonds in that there. But now as you can see in my inventory here, it is time to start building Nembom's lovely farm. I've gone ahead, well, well I've got that bit here, and now we have to go ahead and start pillaring up from the centre. So I'm just going to have these here and also chuck in some ladders as well while I go up. Okay, now, now we need to go up to Y93. Now, I'm going to be doing quite a few cutaways at doing this because I have actually never built this farm before. So, compared to Mumbo Jumbo's farm, that's a farm I am actually completely used to doing before. So, we have to build out by a 5x5 five five platform. So, it's two, 2 either side, 2, 2, 2, Two. This is where it's going to be the centre of the farm, which drops down all the mobs down to our lovely hoppers down below. So what I have to do now is go out by seven blocks with these slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm really hoping this is not going to go over top of my land there, or then that's going to be a pain in the backside. Push this out. Nice and simple. And then we have to make this into a diamond shape. I'll be back once I start doing that. Okay, people, now that has been chucked in place, we need to start going up for our second platform. Now, this is what I'm going to be worried that I'm going to do something wrong with here. So we have to go up by three blocks either side and pretty much do the exact same thing as we pretty much go round. And it has to be a 3x3 three three area, pretty much the entire way going around. So it should be simple-ish, I suppose, hopefully. And I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm going to be doing this here as well. And I'll be back once I get this done. 
and yes, sorry, it's going to be quite a few progress updates this episode, but that's the only way I'm about to do this one, because I'm not really the best at building these types of farms. And then, yeah, I'll be back once I get this second layer of the mob catchment area completed. See you then. Okay, people, now I've done this lovely layer going around here. The only thing I'm worried about about this farm really is building it at the complete wrong layer. And if I do that, I am in a little bit of trouble. So what you have to do now is you have to go around and place in these lovely slabs going around the outside. So you have to place in another block as well. So this is where we're going to place the water going around on here. Surely this isn't... Okay, there we go. And then I'm, we have to go around once we've done all this here and we place the water and in theory it should flow <laughs> this way. Um, in, in theory it should. If not, I've got a whole lot of glass blocks that I just chuck up because then I don't want it overflowing on the other side because water mechanics might have slightly changed since this farm was done, but I know this farm works as Mumbo Jumbo has used it just recently for his lovely creeper farm because it's going to be a designed for multiple mobs as well, such as creepers as just stated. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to again get this done and I'll be back with you guys in a split second. Look at people, all the slabs are now placed back into position. But I've got a slight problem with this farm at the moment. When you place down water, it goes into the slab. So there is a slight change there. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do, do is I'm going to go ahead and place glass going around the outside and then just place the water like this here on the top. Except I'll get rid of that. Place one there and then place one there. And then try and get myself... This is how I'm going to do it, is just place glass going around the entire thing so that they will give it such a little, little bit more height, but glass is a transparent block, so in theory, mob shouldn't spawn. Okay, let's just jump down here and grab myself a lovely couple more buckets of water. And also at the same time, get me my sword. Well, let's take all these buckets of water in with me and... My sword is now kept in this lovely ender chest which I made as well and I found a lovely spawner for our lovely friend. Friends of Blaze so we can start getting ready. This is actually going to look very awesome once it's all done, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flood the outside with water right after I get up to the, my little platform over here. Okay, I'm on my little platform here. This is where I'm going to keep coming back and giving you guys lovely progress updates on what this place is looking like. So I'm just going to keep it here, and then I think as soon as I show you guys the process of how this is made, I'm going to come back here and just do the little time lapse sort of clips on how the build looks. Okay, people, we've now got water flying around here, which looks beautiful. Now we need to go ahead and place in our first dispenser, I believe they are. So now we need to go one, two, and place in all ten. One, two. And this is where our platforms will be going very shortly. So we need to do one, two, dispenser, one, two, dispenser, one, two, dispenser, one, two, dispenser, one, two, and then a lovely dropper. So it was quite simple to do, getting all this here done. So now I need to go ahead. We've got all our dispensers and that going right up to the top there. I think I just showed you that anyway. So now we need to go ahead and go up one, two, and then we have to get rid of these blocks here and place in our observer. Very simple, and this is pretty much just going up. This is a very simple design them bombers come up with, so as you can see, all the resources we are using can be used within pretty much the first, you can easily get within the first like day of Minecraft for the first couple of days of you playing Minecraft, AKA the first few hours. This is a very, very simple design. This is normally designed to go over top of land, though, but I'm just putting it over water because, well, yeah, why wouldn't I put it over water because it's a water base, pretty much. So now that there has been put up to our dropper, we can now go all the way down to the bottom and we can start work on our lovely platforms that go around. So what we need to do is we need to go up and go shift here and go one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. Very, very simple. Now let's go across. Whoops. And just quickly go around and add these platforms going around the entire center of the base. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we have to do this for all these platforms up here. So this is the time where I'm just going to have to jump over down there each time and do sort of like a little time lapse sort of thing. I'll see you guys. Oh, no, I just, no, I just, I'll see you guys once I've got all this done. See you then. Okay, people, here is a quick progress update on how it is looking. I think it's looking pretty fancy myself. Okay, time to get back to work. Okay, people, we have now made it to the lovely top, and now we have to go out and make our lovely outside room. So let's go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is the tip of this one here. And then now we got a further 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, that's good that's not over that island. And I have to go ahead and do this for both sides. All the sides, and pretty much as you might be able to tell, I have to go ahead now and I have to make myself a lovely outer triangle. This farm is actually looking really good. It's getting closer and closer to completion. And surprisingly, I'm at this stage of building the farm. It's only taken me half an hour to do it, which is actually really, really cool. I, if I remember, I'll put the link in the description. Even though it's not, not going to help me out if I put the link in the description anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. And yeah, I'll see you guys once I have completed this top layer of the farm. Okay everyone, here's another quick progress update on how this farm is looking. It is looking pretty good so far, but looking pretty snazzy, but yeah, almost done. Just have to get some more slabs down below, and yeah, as soon as it's done, I'm about to get some, yeah, we'll be back once I get the redstone up top on the done. See you then. The top layer is now done, so now we need to go ahead and place down a lovely chest and make ourselves some lovely front, or well, full blocks. What way is my base okay i want the clock to go this other way then so i'll get rid of that there and i will get rid of that there so we want the clock to come through here nice and simple so i need to go out two four six seven one two three four five six seven blocks here and i have to go out around the front as well hang on i don't want it to go this side do i why would I want it to go this side when I've got something there? Let's just get rid of those blocks there. This is going to look so good as soon as it's activated. So now that I've done that there, I need to add on the double blocks over this side here, and double blocks from down here as well. Let's just quickly grab that there, and let's grab a comparator, and redstone. Get rid of that there, and we place down two bits of redstone dust at the end here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Place those going down and around. Let's place them going back as well. One, two. One, two. Those goes there. And let me just check how this goes. Okay, people, so what we need to do now is just place down a lovely bit of water and our lovely lever. And I need to go through and put these all on full delay. Okay, those back up people, these are all now in full delay, and now I need to go ahead and make myself a some sort of like platform up top. So this is just so I'm just going to get this done now, so I need to go up to block 190. Jeez, I'm going to have to make a huge elevator to get up to here, aren't I? I'm just going to go across. I was thinking to put an AFK fish farm up top here, so I can at least do something when I'm also loading this farm which I thought would be quite a, a good idea for a second I thought it was a block limit but that's at 200 and something let's go up a little bit more okay so this is a perfect spot to AFK so I'm just going to make myself a little platform out of glass here let's go out two blocks so I need to make sure I'm standing in that position when I'm AFKing then. 
and also I'm going to have to make a roof. I'll make a proper room in that up here eventually. And I'll probably have like all a whole lot of chests and that go down there as well. Um, if I'm AFKing there, I really need some way to get up and down from this spot here. So, I think I might make a little area that comes out around here. And I'll put a little water elevator. That's not going to work, is it? Where's my switch to turn this thing on anyway? Okay, so my switch is over there. I'm going to make... Go out, maybe. Because I need to have a way to easily get up here. That should be over top of something else. I'll push this going around. And this is where I'll put up a sort of like a water elevator thing, maybe. It shouldn't destroy any redstone, surely, if I use a bucket. So this is my platform where you're going to have to AFK. I'm going to place... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And I'll place a double like, block down the bottom once I get down there. Okay, people, now that I'm down at this level here, what I need to do is I need to go fill up the water buckets, but first I think I might make it so I've got a little easy access point, I'm going to call it. So... I think I might have it off here, so I might have like a pathway or something come to it. Um, no, I'll do it out of glass and I'll make it over here. Does that make more sense? So I have it go out. Um, can I place glass on this here? Glass on that there. And I'll make like a little tiny square where I will set up a little water system going up and down here. It's a little bit of falling. I don't if I had a bit of gravel, that would have been perfect. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Go away. At least it's only one. Or maybe more than one. Okay, let's just go down and get this farm back and, back and set up. Hopefully they can't swoop in here. In theory. I'm hoping. Go away. Let's add in those water buckets. And what we need to do now is got um let's add that into there. And now we need to go through and add in all of our water buckets into our lovely system through here. I'll be back once I've got that there all done. Okay, now that there's done, people, and I just lost a whole lot of people because I was blown up by a lovely skeleton just there. We need to go ahead and remove our scaffolding by putting signs along here. That's what I was meant to do when I, as I remove the block. So let's do that there. And this is as Nimbom will explain in his videos while this is here, but it's just for this, for the spiders. There we go. Lovely and perfect. There we go. Such a simple and fast design to put up. You could build multiple of these very quickly if you wanted to. I don't know where my sword has gone. I have a feeling it may have been blown up because I've just blown it by a creeper down there. If not, I suppose it will show up somewhere. <laughs> this is really dark down here. Let's get rid of all of that there, and next thing that we need to do is activate the lovely mob farm. I'm just going to go ahead and... Is it? No, it doesn't appear in here. Let's... Is it, like, floated up around the outside or something? Oh, be good if it had popped up. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. I'm just going to say, I wouldn't worry about it, it's not the best sword anyway. So what I need to do now is <laughs> make my lovely way up to this platform, which is going to be a bit of a problem. So yeah, I'll see you guys once I get up to the top of the platform. This may take a little while. Okay, people, the first water elevator thing is now officially complete. This is taking a full, that took a full three seconds to get up that high. 
So that is our item elevator, and our personal elevator is now done. So now I need to create an elevator that gets us up top to this one here as well. So now I've got to place in two bits here, and I've got to place in that there. And I suppose that's where that there is going to have to go. So it's going to actually have to be up one high. Maybe. I'll, I'll figure that out. Um, one, two, two. Let's add another elevator there and add in... Actually, I need to add in something so like nothing can spawn on it, eh? Yeah, that's going to have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this elevator as well now. See you once I've got these all completed. Okay, everyone, this item elevator is almost complete. Just there and done. The item elevator is done, and that was a beautiful lag spike just then. So now I've got a way to get up to the top. But I needed a way to get down to the bottom again once I've once I jumped down from being up there. So I thought I'd just create a very simple little water pool here. I'm going to make it just a little bit more bigger though. Make it a lot square, and I hope this is not going to go through and wreck the redstone. There we go, simple, and then just get up and hop across here. Nice and beautiful. Now to go up and test this elevator. Beautiful. Okay, now one last thing before I officially start this off. Let's see if I'm not going to get myself killed here. Perfect. Okay, I need to fix up the chest that is just down below, and then we can fire this bad boy up. <laughs> that sounded quite bad. Unless I've already fixed the chest. No, I haven't. Okay, so that should have, I think it went. Get rid of that. Get that there. And place it there, and that means this whole thing should be up and running, hopefully. But when I do get up to the top, I need to change the configuration around, so then whenever it's off, it's in. Because off at the moment, this default mode for off is flooded with water, so mobs do not spawn on it. Okay, so now we've done this here, and let's get ready for a lovely lag spike. Let's just actually open up that there. Three, two, one, and hours before work here. Um, um okay let, let let's let, let's just redo this here there's a lag so it's here before updating all the light let's get whoops let's get rid of that there set that up there get that there that there because it is actually coming around the other the wrong way okay, so now that we've done that there let's open up that there again and three two one Good sign, good sign so far. It's all going round. There we go, perfect. Every layer is flooded. Do I have to turn it off? Um, do I do that? I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to do it. Um, um, I'll figure out the timer eventually. Okay, people, so it should be pretty much just like this here. Let's just get rid of this here. Get it there to turn itself off. And then I need... Well, I'll wait for the redstone to turn itself around. So far, no mobs have spawned on here by the looks of it. So what we have to do is we place it into the subtract mode, whatever it is. Flick it on, and that means this here should now work. Is it working? That looks like it's working to me. That, look, that looks better. That looks a lot better, but that seems too long. I oh know, dry, comes out. That goes round. Okay, I think that's a lot better. Let's just get rid of this here. Oops. Okay, so what I had to do 
I believe was I had to quickly replace this here. I don't, I don't know where that's gone. Odd. I'll just reload and be back once I get this. People, the default set of the farm is now off. A couple people have gone ahead and fixed up an issue what I've got to do, so there's a couple slabs out of place there, but now I've gone ahead and emptied out these lovely, what would you call it, these inventory sort of things, the storage system, and I thought I'd just pop over very quickly and show you what the finished product looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and I am going to AFK there for roughly half an hour-ish and see what resources I can get. This is what the lovely farm looks like, nice and done. Let's actually get a lovely screenshot here. Can I fit it all in? Let's just see. There we go. Okay, so now it's time to AFK here for half an hour and see what resources we will get. When we come back, I may think about putting a lovely platform up there for AFK fishing overnight. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Okay everyone, I am now back in my lovely world. Um, hang on, I want to put, make sure that's in there and I keep my silk. Now, I've been away for roughly 45 minutes and I want to see how this world is now looking. Or how much stuff I have actually managed to get. I think I thought I was going to die. So, for about 45 minutes the game should have been loading in all the stuff down below. I'm a little bit worried. Of how it's gone. Oh, jeez. Okay, they obviously have feather falling these zombies. Just let them sink to the bottom. There we go. There we go. Oh, oops. I forgot to turn it off. I might actually just shoot up there and turn it off so I can check what I got. Whoops. Because it look, look. Oh, I need to get rid of that. Uh, near the rack of each bit. Oh, such a beautiful, elegant design. Yeah, it's just... Flick that there off. And in theory, it should have water on it once it's turned off. Now let's hop down here again. These are all going to turn into drowned eventually, which is going to be a pain. So there's a lot of drought. No. <laughs> That's insane. That is seriously, seriously insane. Oops. <laughs> look, look at all that stuff. Oh my god. That is mentally insane. I'm going to have to build this farm on the, um, on the, um, the Kai MC server. This farm is insane. There's that fish in there as well. Don't know how the fish got in there, but it's still... Oh, jeez. Well, at least I've got a lot of gunpowder, so I can start making plenty of rockets for once I make it to the end. Well, that's a tremendous amount of gunpowder. Jeez. I actually only thought I'd only fill up like a chest. That is, <laughs> that is actually amazing. I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I don't. I don't know what I'm even gonna do with this amount of stuff. Like that is. Oh, ow. Like I'm, I'm not even gonna have enough storage for this stuff overnight. I will eventually make a lovely dedicated storage for it, however, so we can store certain bits in. So, just say we've got gunpowder, arrows, and all that bit. It's just, it's just, that's literally mental. How much is there? Like, insane! <laughs> um, I'm so amazed. Uh, I only have to like run this once every now and then. Well, um, 
I'm not even going to need to bother AFKing at the top. I was only going to AFK this so I can get some XP in that bit. That is an utter beast of a machine. So, I don't even know where I'm going to store all this stuff now. I don't even think I have enough storage to store all the gunpowder. I don't know why I took that out. Um, let's create some chests then. And since we're getting so many lovely, what's their names? Hang on, I'll get the names shortly. Oh. Since we're getting plenty of lovely gunpowder in that there now, not gunpowder. <sighs> Sorry, my brain's just overloaded with how much stuff I just managed to get. Um, since we're getting so many bones in that, I have got an idea of creating a lovely pickle farm. This pickle farm is going to be down below, and I am eventually going to light up all the surrounding areas to make it look a lot more nice. There's a lot of drown here. But that's my plan, is to light up the surrounding area and make it beautiful. Go away. Also really need to get some nether racks, so I need to also get some lovely XP levels. So yeah, I think I'm going to end it off here this episode. Let's go back. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video, and next episode, I believe, we can do an actual one hour session of... Or just be like a big long video of trying to get some ender eyes. But then now I think I'm going to go ahead and do a lovely. What is that dolphin doing? What are you dolphins? Are you playing off? Oh, that is that is cool. So fast, you're making me swim. Are you playing, putting things in your mouth? To me it looks like they're like jagging, oops, nearly dead, that's not good. Okay, so that, it looks like those dolphins are chucking bits around their mouth. Okay, yeah, they're chucking things around their mouth. Yeah, so next episode we're going to get some lovely... <laughs> We're going to get some lovely ender eyes, because in the next episode I want I plan to locate the end. So between now and next episode, I'll be collecting some more ender pearls, and we'll be going, and I'll also be getting some lovely blaze powder from in the end. Hopefully I don't die too much. And then, next episode, we will start building a lovely, lovely pickle farm. See, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. You can be my new thing.